I am zero excited. Today we are going to dig two holes, auger two holes. Why? For our posts, mm -hmm. for our overhang. So here's a problem. Do we measure to put these posts based off of the buttresses or based off the wall? Mm. That's a good question. Still don't know the answer. Well, we're going to figure this out mm -hmm. and we're going to have minimal arguing. Our only goal is to get the holes augered and the concrete form with the metal bracket in it. That's it. But it's probably going to take all day. <laughs> One, two, three, let's go. So we realized the best thing to do, because we know the door is straight and parallel with the lintel, we're just going to measure off the front door and then come out. We're going to come out seven feet. We've already measured. Seven feet. Yeah. That way our overhang, we have all eight foot boards. That gives us plenty of room to like cut off what we need to, to make our angles and bird mouse and all that. Right? That was easier than I thought. but. <laughs> I know there's going to be more challenges. Just wait. How excited are you about your auger? I am zero excited. How'd that go? Surprisingly well. I'm almost on speaking terms with the auger again. There's the regular stuff. You ever feel like half of our time is spent just looking for the tools? I know that half of our time is spent looking for tools. And we never seem to have the right tool for the job, but circular saw to the rescue. that actually worked. It's level. Our land slopes this way, so we thought for sure it was not going to be level and we'd have to adjust, but guys, it's getting easy. Of course, as soon as you start going with the right tool, the battery dies. Guys, we can charge our batteries from the solar shed now. This is very exciting. As many batteries as we want. Yeah, all the batteries.
Oh, brackets. <gasps> there you are. Has a snake out at you. <laughs> now that we got our rebar cut, our rebar is only to um, combine the hole that we drilled with the Form sauna on tube top. on top. Yeah. Right, yeah. So it's just kind of holding it all together. So what we're going to do next is set up a string line so that when we put these in the concrete, we can make sure they are parallel. Right. And we'll make sure they're level too. But yeah. Parallel first. Yeah. Ready? I think so. Yay, more cement. Lord, can you give me a little bit of grace? Oh, can you hear me? It's been one of those days. So I'll be waiting down by the river banks. You know I'll be praying. Because some of you are gonna ask, why didn't you just use your cement mixer? Well, it wasn't that many bags, first of all. By the time we got that thing off the ground, we got it going, and then we had to clean it out afterwards, it was just way faster to do it in the wheelbarrow. In fact, I don't know. This thing's on its last legs anyway. We're just finding with two people, it's a lot faster to mix it by hand. Now, when we get into bigger projects where we're doing a ton of material, yeah, we'll probably get a, a bigger cement mixer and use that. But for now, it's just easier for us to do it by hand. We accomplished our mission. Sweet. We have our cement piers, piers ready. We have our stuff ready, guys. Whatever. We got the place in the hole for the posts. Place in the hole. Place in the hole. Yeah, we got that. It's all like level and according to the string line. Parallel. It's parallel to the building. Yes. So now the hard part comes tomorrow setting those posts and cutting them to the correct size. Yeah. Not looking forward to that one, mm -mm. but I do have a way to make it a little bit easier on us. Okay. And I'll show you that tomorrow. Sweet. So easy day. Yeah. It went a lot smoother than I thought. I was like really nervous about this.
Well, we, we, haven't, haven't, we haven't tried to put it together yet. So. That's true. This was easy. We're just digging holes and pouring well, cement. Well, I was worried about <laughs> getting it parallel. Yeah. But we did it. Guys, we'll find out tomorrow. We'll keep you on the edge of your there sheets. There will probably be more arguing tomorrow. Probably. Stay tuned. <laughs> we'll see you then. For those of you who actually stuck around to the end, stuck around, stuck, stuck around, stuck, I said stuck. <laughs> for those of you who actually stuck around for the end of the video, you get to see the inside of the solar shed and how the floor is drying. So let's go on in. Guys, it's so cool inside there. Oh my God. Do you mean like temperature cool? Temperature, yes. But also like visually. Oh yeah, obviously, but the mini split. Oh yeah. I'm so glad it's in. Let's go in. I'm so glad. We can even. They are everywhere. Move. Move. Ugh, They're so gross. They spit out green stuff. Are we walking in? Carefully. It's starting to dry. What do you think? I just want to stay in here because it feels so amazing. <sighs> it's a nice 72 degrees. Yes. Feel that cool air. <laughs> so everything's drying really well. Rocks are looking good. This area is completely dry and ready for the final coat. Did we decide we're doing the final coat? Yeah, I think we need to. I think you're right. It's slightly uneven in the office. Yeah, there's a few little... There are a few dips in the office floor because I had to move the level in different areas to reach it all. So it's all slightly different, which I kind of enjoy that. Like, it's not drastic. It's like a little, little hill here. I think but, it's um, more drastic because it's still wet, and so you can actually, like, see where it's a different shade and it's making it more visible. Yeah, but I actually kind of like it. It just feels like you're walking on the earth. So we will lay down a final coat, we've decided, just to kind of cover that up a little bit better. But yeah, everything's drying well. And pretty soon that final coat will go in. Then we'll let that dry. And then we'll add our linseed oil and the floors will be finished. <laughs>